Huber's cards and more just popping in to say hi. I know you want to get in first in the chat. <laughs> you know what about what time I go live, so the, I know you'll probably be taking off in just a minute. But thanks for stopping by there, Michael. Appreciate you being in the stream. I'll get your entry into the giveaway. <laughs> should be getting packages ready to send packages out in the mail today and I'm pretty sure you'll probably be the only team team bag I'll be sending out I don't see uh, uh, three card collectors much anymore and I don't see Deerman much anymore so as, you, as far as you being one of my faithful youth in the channel right now I believe you'll be the only one that'll be getting team bags from me because I know, uh, I'm pretty sure Deerman 2019 is more into the gaming faction. I know he's a gamer, so I'm pretty sure that's what he does mostly. But let me get you uh, into my Wheel of Names for the month of August drawing. And probably next week for a special live stream... I might show what the giveaway is for the month of August. Okay, so let me get your entry in there and make sure it's saved. Uh, and you are my only entry into the giveaway for today. You are the first in the chat and it looks like it's just me and you. So it might be just me doing my content today when you take off, but I appreciate you being there here, Michael. Appreciate you popping into the live stream. So hopefully everything is going good for you out there in, in Baltimore land. How are your Orioles doing? I haven't really been paying attention to much of the other teams. I've been kind of watching my Seattle Mariners as they slip and slide. They've been getting clobbered by the Angels. So we'll be looking forward to playing another team, that's for sure. But and if you took off already, that is perfectly okay. I know you pop in to get your entry into the free giveaway each month. Might as well. If you can get in here first in the chat every day, it gives you quite a few entries. That's roughly about five entries a week. If you end up being the first in the live chat. So we'll see. This is, I would like to really open up this hobby box. It's been uh, about a week or so since I've opened up a hobby box of uh, Topps 2020 Baseball Series 2. I'm itching to see if we get a good hit inside one of these boxes coming up. I am halfway through my case, so only another half to go. I'll kind of hang out a little bit here. We will be, guess, of course, going over the 1999 year in Major League Baseball since the cards for the 2000 Tops Major League Baseball cards, uh, Series 1 and 2, are basically comprised of 478 cards. I think it's starting next in the next set in 2001 that we do the, the, the baseball card sets start getting larger again. Cardinals fan 1990. How you doing there, buddy? Thanks for popping into the stream here with us this morning. We're going to go over the 1990 or no, the 2000 Tops baseball card set. Sorry, I gotta adjust something here on my on my phone real quick. My cord for my uh, phone was getting annoying it was bumping into my leg so i had to put it out of the way real quick in case you're wondering why the camera's being a little bit jumpy there and stuff but thanks for popping in here cardinals fan appreciate you being here hopefully you're looking forward to me going through the the 2000 baseball card set for tops as we get into starting this week getting into the 2000s so we've made it through the, the junk wax era, all right, the 80s and 90s, and now we're in the last stretch. K 
catching up to 2020. And when we do get to that set, I don't have to wait for the complete set to come out. I already created my own complete set, Series 1 and Series 2 for Tops 2020. And I'll probably throw in a bonus set there because I did do the, the, the 2020 Tops opening day set. I'll go through and highlight cards from that set and uh, a bunch of the, sets, the, the more common subsets there. So we do have that complete set that I'll be sharing too in the tops. Um, I don't know about the 2020. We'll have to see if I get enough of the subsets to do something there. Jeff Nichols in the, um, Jeff Nichols in the house. Atlanta Brave fan. I'm a 2000. I'm a. I am 2000, 10 year old. Oh, okay. In 2000, were you 10 years old, there, Cardinals fan? <laughs> you might not have been much into baseball yet then, were you? Were you collecting baseball cards when you were a kid? Just kind of curious there. That's pretty neat. Sorry, I had a had a friend trying to call me on my phone. I forgot to put it on. Uh, Do not disturb. So I did, that's why I had a little bit of a brief interruption there, in case you're wondering what was happening. Usually I do pretty good as far as not getting phone calls while I'm doing my live streams, but it does happen from time to time. I got to get in the habit, I guess, of before I go live is to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Okay. Oh, okay. You, yes, collecting in 2000. Oh, that is pretty cool. Then you, you'll probably be familiar with this set then, won't you, Derek Cardinals fan? You'll probably be familiar with a lot of cards in this set. That is cool. So you've been collecting since 2000. I started collecting probably... Probably my late junior high and high school years in which that would put it like in the 70s but unfortunately uh, I don't have any of any at all of my original cards so pretty much I had to start all over uh, I did some a little bit when I was in the Navy in the 90s uh, when I was already in the United States Navy before I retired so that made that pretty much interesting I could only do on and off type collecting while I was in the military. So that made it a little bit interesting, but I did do some collecting and started amassing my collection again. Then of course, when I retired from the Navy, I was able to do a little bit more here and there. And now I am fully retired, so I have plenty of time to to spend in my baseball world <laughs> so we got about three more minutes here and then we will get into the recap for the 1999 baseball season then we will get into our content at hand opening up here let me tip this over this way real quick so you can see the front of the box here and then, uh, actually, while we got a minute here, I can show and give you a little glimpse of the checklist on the side here. Oh, that's focusing pretty good. But you can see card number one in this set was uh, Mark McGuire, Tony Gwynn, Wade Boggs, Cal Ripken, Matt Williams, Jay Buhner. And just in case you are wondering, there is uh, four, 478 cards in this set. Um, but on this one here, um, you can see there's number seven, Mickey Mantle, because he had retired. They, ca I, I, I guess Mickey Mantle's number was number seven, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. I'm not a huge Mickey Mantle fan, but I know his cards are worth a lot. But yeah, so if you go through the, oh, I'm bumping into my, uh, my tripod there goes down to card number 479 which is a rod alex rodriguez okay and it tells you 
on the checklist on the box which what your season highlight cards are your magic moments cards your century's best prospects draft picks league leaders and 20th century best so um that does give you an idea but there are 478 cards so less than 500 cards in this baseball card set and we've got about a minute to go i'll catch your voicemail there later joel um so kevin's car collecting and more good morning all right uh jeff nickel yes and the most times when they include his cards is it's going to be number seven ah got it thanks jeff appreciate that intel there hi kevin's card collecting and more from cardinals fan all right let me get ready to refresh the chat here as i get ready to go into our history lesson here for this set Cardinals fan 1990 with a one dollar super chat. There's your one dollar there, Cardinals fan. Let me get your bonus entry into my wheel of names for the month of August giveaway. Hubers was the first one in the live chat this morning. All right, there, Cardinals fan, I have you in my wheel of names, and we do have 1030 here. And we will do pauses and breaks as Super Chats come into the stream, that's for sure. But thank you there, Cardinals fan, for that $1 Super Chat. That's why you got and earned a bonus entry into the August giveaway. Okay, those that know my channel description and how i am working with my giveaways you'll know how you can earn of course my patreon members each and every month get a free entry into my my um monthly giveaways uh first in the live chat and then super chats depending on the level and amount of the super chat is how many entries you get into the monthly giveaway uh, the monthly giveaway is for my channel supporters so that's why for the most part it ends up being mostly people that do support me on a regular basis but we have 1031 here so i am going to get into the 1990 nine major league baseball season get into the history and then when we go through the history here we will open up this it's actually uh let's see is this one an h this one don't have the h on it so i think this was just the major league baseball card base set okay uh, one from last week that we did was a hobby box it is kind of strange every once in a while sometimes they don't get the whole set in there uh one of the sets recently i had to find the missing card that i did not have in and it was completely sealed with the tops tops logos on it you can see the tops logos here it was sealed just like this but i went through and was missing a card from the set i should have just hollered at tops and referred them to the video and if they wanted to verify that i was telling the truth but it was that would have been a lot more trouble than it would have been worth to uh have them send me a free card i spent three dollars and got the missing card sent to me so at least it ended up being a complete set so i'll be doing something later on throughout my channel with regards to my complete baseball card sets um, but other than that let's go ahead and get ready to go into the 1999 major league baseball season and ended with the new york yankees sweeping the atlanta braves in the world series the previous record of most home runs hit in a season did you go offline for a little bit or was it my system um no it probably was um kevin um pretty much what happened was uh, I, I I had an incoming phone call so sometimes when that happens it kind of uh, will do that to me 
kind of freezes up the, the, the live stream when I'm getting have an incoming call. I didn't answer it. I had to cancel I had to cancel on my phone to not take the call. So it wasn't your system, it was my uh my phone. I forgot to put it in do not disturb before I uh went live. Uh I'll go into that a little bit later. Um so the previous record of most home runs hit in a season was set at 5,064 in 1998 and was broken once again as the American League and National League combined to hit 5,528 home runs. Moreover, it was the first season in 49 years to feature a team that scored 1,000 runs in a season as the Cleveland Indians led the majors with 1,009 runs scored. Only 193 shutouts were recorded in the 2,427 regular season games. The 1999 season was the first season in which the two current New York City area MLB teams, the Yankees and the Mets, qualified for the playoffs together in the same season. Okay, give you a little bit of a recap on the postseason for 1999. As far as the division series for the ALDS and the NLDS, the New York Yankees um, swept the Texas Rangers three games to nothing in their uh, division series playoff. And then the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Red Sox um, the Boston Red Sox won three games to two. And then in the National League, the Atlanta Atlanta Braves and the Houston Astros, Atlanta won three games and Houston won one. And then Ari the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets in the year 2000, um, the New York Mets won and beat Arizona three games to one. And then in the League Championship Series for the American League and National League, the American League Championship, New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox, the Yankees won four games to one. And then the Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets in their championship series, uh, Atlanta won four games to two. Left behind times is in the house. All right. And then in the American League for the World Series was the New York Yankees and the Atlanta Braves. And the New York Yankees won four games to nothing. All right. As far as awards and honors for 1999 in the Baseball Hall of Fame, the following players were inducted into the Hall of Fame. George Brett, Orlando Cepeda, uh, Nestor Chilek, Nolan Ryan, Frank Seeley, Joe Williams, and Robin Yount. All right. So the uh, Rookie of the Year from the Baseball Writers Association of America, the Rookie of the Year went to, in the National League, Scott Williamson, Cincinnati, and the American League, Carlos Beltran with Kansas City. The Cy Young Award winners in the National League was Randy Johnson with Arizona and Pedro Martinez with the Boston Red Sox. The Manager of the Year went to Jack McKeon with Cincinnati and Jerry Wood. Jimmy Williams with Boston and the most valuable player National League was Chipper Jones Atlanta and Ivan Rodriguez with Texas as far as the gold glove award winners for that year the pitcher was Greg Maddox for the National League Mike Mussina with the American League catcher was Mike Lieberthal with the Philadelphia Phillies and Ivan Rodriguez with the Texas Rangers. First baseman was J.T. Snow with the San Francisco Giants and Rafael Palmero with the Texas Rangers. Second baseman Gold Glove Award was Pokey Reese with Cincinnati in the National League and American League Alberto, Roberto Alomar with the Cleveland Indians. Third baseman was Robin Ventura with the New York Mets and Scott Brocius with the New York Yankees. Shortstop was with the National League, Ray Ordonez with the Mets, Omar Vescal with the Cleveland Indians. Then the outfielders, of course, for the National League was Steve Finley, Arizona, Larry Walker, Colorado, and Andrew Jones with Atlanta. And the American League was Bernie Williams with the Yankees, Sean Green with the Toronto Blue Jays, and Ken Griffey Jr. with the Seattle Mariners. 
Then we have the Silver Slugger Awards. Pitcher or designated hitter were um, Mike Hampton with the Houston Astros, Rafael Palmeiro with Texas. The catchers were Mike Piazza with the Mets, Ivan Rodriguez with the Rangers, first baseman Jeff Bagwell with Houston, Carlos Delgado with Toronto, second baseman Edgardo Alfonso with the Mets, and Roberto Alomar with the Indians. Third baseman was Chipper Jones with Atlanta and Dean Palmer with Detroit, shortstop Barry Larkin with Cincinnati, and Alex Rodriguez with Seattle Mariners. <laughs> and then the outfielders, of course, was Sammy Sosa with the Chicago Cubs, Vladimir Guerrero Sr., Vladdy Daddy, with the Montreal Expos, and Larry Walker with Colorado for the American League, Sean Green with Toronto, Ken Griffey Jr. with the Seattle Mariners. I'm only saying that because you're here, you're here there, Levine. <laughs> we're not we're not opening up packs of cards yet. <laughs> and Manny Ramirez with the Cleveland Indians. All right. So that gives you a little bit of recap from the awards, and let's go through the events of the year before we get into the tops baseball card set. All right. So January through March in 1999, <laughs> there we go. Let Bynes got it in there now. The Seattle Mariners. <laughs> oh, I like my I like my regular subscribers here to pop into the stream and make me chuckle in the morning. Keep my keep my spirits bright in light of the Seattle Mariners going losing fast. Boy, the Cal California Angels walloped on us this 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 homestand. So uh, January fifth, of course, Nolan Ryan, George Brett, and Robin Yount were elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame by the Baseball Writers Association of America. It is the first time since 1936 that three players are elected simultaneously on their first try. Carlton Fisk finished finishes fourth in the voting missing election by 43 votes. All right, February 15th, the Cincinnati Reds announced that they are dropping their long-standing policy of no facial hair for players. The change is the result of a talk between outgoing Reds owner Marge, Margie Schott and newly acquired outfielder Greg Vaughn. February 18th, the U.S. Postal Service issues a Jackie Robinson stamp as part of their Celebrate the Century program. Robinson was elected to represent the 1940s and is the second baseball player chosen. Babe Ruth in May of 1998 represents the 1920s. February 18th, the Yankees end the trade rumors by acquiring Cy Young Award winner Roger Clemens from the Toronto Blue Jays in exchange for pitchers David Wells, uh, Graham Lloyd, and our Graham, I guess it's Graham, Graham, Lloyd, and infielder Homer Bush. February 21st, Florida Marlins rookie third baseman Matt Lowell, acquired from the New York Yankees on February 1st, undergoes surgery for testicular cancer after a small mass is found during a routine exam. On March 2nd, Orlando Cepeda, Frank Seeley, Smokey Joe Williams and Nestor Shylock are elected to the Hall of Fame by the Veterans Committee. On March 7th, in a historic agreement, it is announced that ba the Baltimore Orioles will travel to Cuba for a March 28th exhibition game against the Cuban national team in Havana. The Cuban team will travel to the United States for a return contest at a future date. It is the first time in 40 years that Americans will play a professional game in Cuba. March 8th, Joe DiMaggio passes away at the age of 84. March 10th, Yankees manager Joe Torre is diagnosed with prostate cancer while he is undergoing treatment and the team will be run by coach Don Zimmer. And then to close out that quarter, uh, March 28th, the Orioles make the first visit to Cuba by major leaguers since 1959 and defeat the team of Cuban amateurs by a score of 3-2 in 11 innings. Pitcher Jose Contreras hurls 8 innings of 2-hit, 10-strikeout ball in relief of the Cubans, while the catcher Charles 
Charles Johnson hits a two-run home run and, a de and designated hitter Harold Baines drives in the winning run for the Orioles. The two teams will play a rematch at Camden Yards in Baltimore on May 3rd. Pop in the chat real quick here. Um, <laughs> you need water, Donald? <laughs> hey, buddy. Kevin's card collecting and more. All right, let me do a refresh here. Yeah, I'm going to take a sip of water in just a second here. Thanks there, Cardinals fan. You could hear my raspy voice, I guess, huh? <laughs> Okay. Hopefully that helps. Yeah. Uh, before I came live with my baseball content, I was in my recording studio, um, doing some of my other content that content that loads up uh, every morning at 5 a.m. So I had to do two episodes of that to work on. I'm trying to work on getting getting ahead for next week. I got a busy a busy schedule next week. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> um. But that's fine. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun week next week. All right. So April, May, and June of 1999, April 4th, and the first regular season game ever played outside the United States or Canada, the Colorado Rockies opens the season by defeating the San Diego Padres 8-2 um, to two before an overflow crowd of 27,104 in Monterey, Mexico. Outfielder Dante Bichette has four hits, including a home run and four RBIs for the winners. Local hero Vinny Castillo also has four hits for the Rockies, while Daryl Kyle picks up the victory. April 19th, the Baltimore Orioles' Cal Ripken Jr. is placed on the disabled list for the first time in his 19-year career because of irritation in his lower back. Ripken's record consecutive game streak ended September 1998 at 2,632 games. April 20th, the Cincinnati Reds owner Marge, Margie Scott agrees to sell her controlling interest in the Reds to a group headed <coughs> by Carl H. Linder, ending her 14-year tenure. The group will pay a total of $67 million. April 20th, the Nolan Ryan Museum opens in Alvin, Texas. On April 23rd, the St. Louis Cardinals defeat the Los Angeles Dodgers 12-5 as third baseman Fernando Tatis sets a major league record by hitting two grand slams in a single inning. His two homers come in St. Louis's 11-run third inning. He also sets a major Chan Ho Park becomes the first 20th century pitcher and only the second ever to surrender two grand slams in a single frame. Bill Phillips, the pit of the Pittsburgh Pirates did so in 1980. Park became the 36th major leaguer to serve up two slams to the same player in his career. April 23rd, the Brewers sink the Pirates 9-1 as pitcher Steve Wood Woodard hurls the complete game victory. The win ends Milwaukee's National League streak of 113 games without a complete game. May 3rd, in a 12-11 to 11, 10 inning loss to the Oakland Athletics, Boston Red Sox rookie Crichton Grubinich <clears throat> becomes only the fourth player to hit a grand slam for his first major league hit. <coughs> Excuse me. May 3rd, the Pirates defeat the Giants 9-8 despite Jeff Kent getting five hits for the Giants and hits for the cycle. Just the second player to do so in Three Rivers Stadium, Joe Torre did it on June 27, 1973. Give me a second here. <clears throat> Got a little frog in my throat. Can you hear it? <laughs> All right. 
So May 9th, the Yankees defeat the Mariners 6-1. Relief pitcher Mike Stanton makes his first Major League start for the Yankees, ending his Major League record streak of 552 consecutive relief appearances to his first start. The previous record of 443 was set by Giants pitcher Gary Lavelli. May 10th, the the Boston Red Sox defeat the Mariners 12-4 as shortstop Nomar Garcia Parra leads the way with three home runs, including two grand slams. Garcia Parra drives home 10 of Boston's runs as he clouts a bases-loaded homer in the first inning, a two-run shot in the third, and another grand slam in the eighth. He is the first Bo Sox since Jim Tabor in 1939 to hit two slams in a game. And just the ninth major league his- in major league history. Robin Ventura did it last in 1995. On May 17th, Tampa Bay outguns the Rangers 13 to 3 as first baseman Fred McGriff extends his major league record by hitting a home run in his 35th big league stadium, the ballpark in Arlington. On May 19th, in a record-setting outing, the Reds beat the Rockies 24 to 12, stroking 28 hits in the process. The 36 runs sets a Coors Field record. Jeffrey Hammonds hits three home runs for Cincinnati as seven players in the Reds lineup get three or more hits apiece. Teammate Sean Casey hits a pair of three-run homers to drive in six runs and reaches base all seven plate appearances, tying a 20th century record. The 36 runs scored in the contest is the third highest total in major leagues since the turn of the 20th century, while the 81 total bases sets a new major league standard. Mike Cameron ties a major league mark with eight plate appearances in a nine-inning game. With 28 hits, the Reds tie a mark <clears throat> originally set on May 13, 1902 and tie the National League record with seven players with three or more hits. Pirates uh, of June 12, 1928 and the Reds of August 3, 1989. The Rockies also become the first team to score 12 or more runs in a game and lose by 12 or more runs in the same game since the Giants beat the Reds 25-13 in 1901. Larry Walker extends his hitting streak to 20 games and raises his average to 431. May 20th, the Mets sweep the Brewers in a doubleheader, winning the first game 11-10 and the second 10-1. Robin Ventura hits a grand slam in each contest, becoming the first player in Major League history to do so in both ends of a doubleheader. Ventura also becomes the first player to hit a pair of grand slams on the same day on two separate occasions. May 26, one of the most heartbreaking moments in baseball history during the third inning. The Texas Rangers Tampa Bay Devil Rays starting pitcher Tony Saunders breaks and tears ligaments in his arm while pitching to batter Rafael Palmero. He would later break that same arm while playing a rehabilitation assignment in 2000, retiring from baseball. This was his last game as a major league player. On June 25th, the St. Louis, St. Louis defeats Arizona 1 to nothing. <clears throat> as Ricky pitcher Jose Ramirez hurls it the first no-hitter of the season. The Cardinals scored the lone run on a broken bat single with two outs in the ninth inning. Jimenez posted eight strikeouts in the contest while losing pitcher Randy Johnson strikes out 14, including his the 2,500th of his career. Jimenez walks two and hits a batter and becoming the first rookie to toss a no-hitter since Wilson Alvarez in 1991. <clears throat> June 25th in Baltimore's 9-8 loss to the Yankees, the Orioles' Jesse Orozco makes his 1,051st relief appearance to break Kent to Cool Bay's major league record. June 28th, Hack Wilson runs up Hack Wilson ups his runs batted in total for the 1930 season to 191, 69 years after the event, an RBI is added by the commissioner's office, which gives 
Uh, Babe Ruth's six additional walks, raising his career record total to 2,062. There is no doubt that Hack Wilson's RBI total should be 191. Commissioner Bud Selig says, I am sensitive to the historical significance that accompanies the correction of such a prestigious record, especially after so many years have passed, but it's important to get it right. The missing RBI came from the second game of a doubleheader between Wilson's Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds on July 28, 1930, where Charlie Grimm was credited with two RBIs in the game and Wilson with none. Ruth's walk total is now 2,062. Ted Williams is second, trailing by 43, and Ricky Henderson is third, 134 behind Babe Ruth. All right. Pop into the chat. Nothing super new. Let me, uh, I'm gonna do something real quick. Give me a second. not super hot today really it's supposed to cool off it's supposed to rain tomorrow but uh i just had to move the fan i'll still get the breeze coming onto my phone but then uh the fan's not blowing directly on me that maybe that's what's drying my mouth out quicker let me get a little swig of water here And then we'll get into the third quarter for 1999, July, August, and September. All right. Got a little bit of a run here for the, for the meat of the season here. So July 5th, the Cardinals defeat the Diamondbacks 1 to nothing as Jose Jimenez earls a two-hitter to defeat Randy Johnson. Jimenez no-hitter, no-hit the Diamondbacks in his last appearance against them June 25th. Johnson loses his third game in a row. Sam Sport Chops in the house, during which Arizona has not scored a run and only made three hits. He strikes out 12 Cardinals to tie Dwight Gooden's National League mark of 43 strikeouts over three starts. He also reaches 200 strikeouts for the year and ends St. Louis rookie Joe McEwing's 25-game hit streak, the fifth longest ever for a rookie. July 6th, the White Sox lose to the Royals 8-7, and Chicago outfielder Chris Singleton hits for the cycle, becoming the first rookie to do so since Adobe McDowell in 1985, and just the 16th since 1900. Uh, Donald is back, been having trouble following this stream. Hey, Sam. You Really? Has anybody else been having any problems? I mean, I don't see anything on my end that blocks it that I'm aware of. I see the chat coming through, that's for sure. Um, let me double check on my iMac here and make sure it's working. Yeah, as far as I can tell, everything's working fine. It cut off several times. Really? Hmm. Uh, I don't know what to tell you on that one, Kevin. Uh, I know we only have a few people in the chat here. Let me see who we got for participants. I think just me, Kevin, and Sam. Me, Kevin, and Sam are the only ones participating at the time. But that is weird. I don't... I can, all I can say is I don't notice anything on my end. Um, well, my frames per second keep going up and down, so... But I don't notice my computer's doing anything like that off the top of my head. But let's continue on. July 9th, the uniform Lou Gehrig wore when he made his famous Luckiest Man on Earth speech on July 4th, 1939, is sold for $451,541 at an auction. Leland spokesman Marty Appel says the 
The flannel pinstripe uniform worn by Hall of Famer first baseman was purchased by a South Florida man who did not want his name made public. The winning bid was made over the phone, and yesterday Carlton Fisk's home run ball that won Game 6 of the 1975 World Series for the Boston Red Sox was sold for $113,273. On July 13th, the Major League Baseball All-Century team was announced prior to the All-Star Game at Boston's Fenway Park. Many members of the team, including Bob Gibson, Mike Schmidt, Willie Mays, Brooks Robinson, and Ted, Ted Williams, are on the field for the festivities. Williams, who threw out the first pitch, delayed the start of the game for about 15 minutes as players from both teams surrounded him in a spontaneous display of homage. The American League goes on to defeat the National League 4 to 1. Be- Behind the Red Sox pitcher Pedro Martinez. Pedro Martinez is named the game's MVP as he strikes out five of six batters he faced, including the first four in a row in his two innings of work. All right. Uh, Jeff Nichols says here he's still here listening. Hi, Cardinals fan. Lost it again. Must be on my end if nobody else is having issues. Sorry. Um, by Kevin. I uh, I see the chat, but no video. Anyone else having issues? Uh, Eric Anitis Anitis says I'm listening and working. Okay, so I <laughs> I don't know what to say for sure, Kevin. Um, I know there's only a couple people are interacting with the chat but there it seems like there are people watching in the background or or at least listening in the background so it seems like the feed is working i know my uh frames per second is not uh what it should be but i don't want to reset any of my stuff on my end so let me continue on here real quick. I, I do see my screen like blinking and flashing once in a while. So it could be... I might be having some problem, but not that I am aware of. Um, I don't even know at this point if I really want to... Let me see. I'm going to do a refresh on my computer. Okay, so yeah, I, I keep noticing my 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 PC, my per, my P, my Hewlett Packard, not the Hewlett Packard, my Dell computer keeps doing uh, the same thing. It'll it'll like, it'll be flashing. The screen will be flashing. Let me see. Can anyone see your chats? Yeah, I see your chats there, Kevin. Uh, I see the chat, but no video. Anyone else having issues? Uh, can anyone see my chats? Left behind. Uh, Times is saying, Kevin, yes. So, um, yeah, it's re- it's kind of weird in a way because my... <sighs> I don't really want to start over... It's as if his stream ends and goes out, but the chat is still active. You see the same thing? I guess Left Behind saying he's having some of those problems too. I mean... looking really quick to see if there's anything I can figure out on my end but I don't I don't really want to that's the first time this has ever happened to me I can see tell you what if you guys hang in with me here I'm going to try and reset my router See if that clears things up. Okay. 
So I am going to uh, see if I can do a reset. I think I can. I don't want to totally reset it. I just want to do a... Actually, I guess I could uh, power it down and plug it back in. Think that might work? Chat is working constantly, but the screen will go black all of a sudden. Yeah, I've noticed the, the it doing that. Um, you know what? Hang in, guys. I'm going to see if I can get things reset here, okay? Something to reconnect. take that long to, to reset this thing. Okay, it's hooking back up.
Hello, hello, hello. Is anybody there? Uh oh. you fine can you hear me again can you hear me now can you hear me now <laughs> sorry about that i mean it looks like my frames per second is picking up so hopefully we're back i'm back sam sports app says i'm back eric anatis i'm back hearing you fine uh not me just went black just went black um, yeah, I know. It's kind of being goofy on me here. I'm trying to get things up and running. Ah, what the heck did I do there? Not that one. Oh, wait. No, not that one. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, give me a second here as I get things straightened out with my uncoordinated, untechnical capabilities <laughs> just bear with this one last shot I need to see if I can get some thumbs up from some of my people in the channel here see if we got see if I got things straightened out on my end I know my uh, kbps is up there right now the frames per second is still running slow so it could be just uh, some problems with the internet or something on that line uh, I just need to know if I'm talking to anybody out there in my channel world. I know everybody that was in the stream probably left. I'd probably do the same thing if something happened. I see we did get 10 thumbs up. That was pretty cool. Um, it does say one watching. I hear you. All right. Eric is in the house. <laughs> Eric is in the house. Okay. Um, so if that is the case and Eric is at least back with me, um, maybe things are doing well. Um, at least Eric does show the right timestamp there. Um, my, my frames per second is improving. My KBS is up there. Sometimes my frames per second does bounce around a lot. Let me see if, uh, let's see. Let me get my, yeah, I've got that set for my viewing. So I know my viewing frames, my viewing, that's as high as it, because that won't really go that high. But if we are good to go, I will get back into the history lesson here. Which I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. All right, Eric. At least, I, I know you probably can't stay in the stream the whole time, but I think I am back up and running to the best of my knowledge. It looks like I appear like I'm going well. So let's keep rolling there. It says I started streaming about an hour ago. I know that now my phone is being a, a thinker too. I think this is going to be the first time I had a wash on my on my live stream. Oh wait, no. Looks like it is back up and running and connected again. <laughs> my word. All right, 
Well, I'm going to go ahead and continue with my lesson and we'll see how things turn out. Turn out. Hopefully everything works for now. I'll keep try and keep an eye on everything else to see what goes on here. But I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to keep moving. If I put my hand up here, there we go. It seems like the frame per second is going up. So I'm going to get going. So July 15th, outdoor base is going up. So I'm going to get going. So July 15th, outdoor baseball returns to Seattle as the Mariners open safe go field, but lose to the San Diego Padres 3 to 2 with 44,607 people in attendance. It was the first park in Major League Baseball history to host an interleague game on its inaugural uh, day. So July 18th, David Cohn pitches the 16th perfect game against the Montreal Expos in a 6 to nothing New York Yankees victory. Uh, it is the third perfect game in franchise history. Don Larson, who authorized the first one 43 years prior, throws out the ceremonial first pitch uh, to battery mate Yogi Berra. And then on July 25th, George Brett, Robin Yount, and Nolan Ryan, and Orlando Cepeda are inducted into the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. Beat the Cardinals 10-3 despite a pair of home runs by Mark McGuire, including the 500th of his career. Mark McGuire becomes the first player in history to hit his 400th and 500th homers in successful, successive seasons. On August 6th, the San Diego Padres' Tony Gwynn wraps his 3,000th career hit, a single off Dan Smith of the Montreal Expos, and the Padres defeat the Expos 12-10. On August the 7th, just one day after Tony Gwynn reaches the historic milestone, the Devil Rays' Wade Boggs also gets the 3,000th hit of his career, a home run, in Tampa Bay's 15-10 loss to Cleveland. On August the 9th, a total of five Grand Slams are hit on the day, marking the first time it has happened in 129 years of Major League Baseball. The bases loaded pokes are hit by Fernando Tatis, um, St. Louis against Philadelphia, Jose Vidro, Montreal against San Diego, and then Mike Lau, Florida against San Francisco, Bernie Williams, Yankees against Oakland, and Jay Buhner's Seattle against the White Sox. On August the 17th, uh, Sick Transit Gloria, St. Louis sends Jose Jimenez to AAA Memphis less than two months after his no-hitter against Arizona. He joins Bobo Holloman as the only pitcher to go to the minors in the same year he pitched a no-hitter. On August the 30th, the Mets roll over the Astros 17-1 to as Edgardo Alfonso goes 6-for-6 six six in a club record with a double. Three home runs, five RBIs, and six runs scored. The six runs scored ties the modern age mark. Alfonso is the, only the fifth player ever to hit three home runs while going 6-for-6. Six six. On August the 30th, um, former player Billy Bean comes out of the closet to and announce it, announces his homosexuality. He is the first living player to publicly, publicly acknowledge that he is gay. September 4th, in a 22-3 blowout over the Philadelphia Phillies, uh, the Cincinnati Reds tie in a, a, a National League record by hitting nine home runs in the contest. Two by Eddie Tavanis and one apiece by Aaron Boone, Dimitri Young, Jeffrey Hammonds, Greg Vaughn, Pokey Reese, Brian Johnson, and Mark Lewis. On September 7th, two native Canadian pitchers oppose each other as starters for the first time in 25 years. Florida Marlin pitcher Ryan Dempster from British Columbia faces off against the Los Angeles Dodgers' Eric Gagne, who hails from Quebec. Cards in my car with our posada oh my word where did don go uh oh did something happen again am i having problems with my stream again <laughs> the two room together while competing on canada's national baseball team the battle is a draw with neither pitching pitcher getting the decision 
but the Marlins 2-1 win. September 9th, in a game between the Expos and the Padres, umpires nearly allowed four outs to be recorded in the seventh inning. All good. <laughs> All right, thanks, Eric. Appreciate that. <laughs> Sometimes Robert comes in and tries to pull on my chain a little bit. <laughs> oh, by the way, I did get my payment today, so I'll be getting the Patreon packages ready to send out. Okay, so Reggie Sanders of the Expos struck out for the third out, but the umpires, the fans, and the Padres allowed the Expos Phil Nevin to come up to the plate and pitcher Ted Lilly to reach a 2-1 count before someone alerted home plate umpire Jerry Lane to the mistake. The Padres win 10-3. September 10th, the Red Sox tripped the Yankees 3-1 as Pedro Martinez hurls an impressive one-hitter for his 21st victory of the year. Martinez strikes out 17 batters, the most Yankees ever fanned in a single game. Chili Davis, uh, second inning home run is New York's only hit. Uh, Chuck Knobloch, a hit by a pitch leading off the game, gives the Yankees their only other base runner and he was caught stealing. So Martinez faces just one over the minimum. On September 11th, the Twins defeat the Angels 7 to nothing as left-handed Eric Milton hurls the third no-hitter of the season. September 14th, Kansas City loses a doubleheader to the Angels 8-6 in the opener and 6-5 in the nightcap. In the second game, Kansas City outfielder Mark Quinn makes a memorable Major League debut after making uh, out in his first at-bat. Quinn doubles in his next trip to the plate, then hits home runs in his last two times up. He becomes just the third player in history to hit two home runs in his first big league game. Bob Neiman in 1951 and Burt Campanaris in 1964 are the only others to accomplish that feat. On September 18th, the Brewers beat the Cubs 7-4 as Sammy Sosa, hit, Sosa hits his 60th home run of the year. He becomes the first major leaguer to hit 60 homers twice. September 21st, the Red Sox defeat the Blue Jays 3-0 as Pedro Martinez fans 12 for his second win. He joins Randy Johnson as the only pitcher to strike out at least 300 in both legs and breaks Roger Clemens' mark of 291 strikeouts. September 26, the Cardinals lose to the Reds 7 to 5 despite Mark McGuire's 60th home run of the season. McGuire joins Sammy Sosa as the only players in history to reach 60 homers, the 60 homer mark twice. He will end the season with 147 runs batted in on his 145 hits the only player in Major League history with 100 hits in a season to have more than more RBIs than hits. Uh, Jay Buhner in 1995 came closest with 121 RBIs and 123 hits. September 27th, the Tigers defeat the Royals 8-2 in the final game ever played at Tiger Stadium. On September 30th, the Los Angeles Dodgers defeat the San Francisco Giants in the final game ever played at Candlestick Park. Then we've got uh, one more card to go, and then we'll open up our baseball card set. I was wondering for a second if we were going to get to that today. Here it is, 11.30, and usually I would have started the set already by 11 o'clock. But we had a computer difficult internet difficulties, cell phone difficulties, just everything's been going wrong in this live stream so far. So October through December, October, November, and December. October 2nd in a 3-2 Yankees victory over Tampa Bay, Bernie Williams draws his 100th walk of the season. He is the first player since John Ulrude in 1993 to reach 200 hits, 100 runs, 100 RBIs, and 100 walks in a season. Williams finishes with 202, 116, 115, and 100, respectively. On October 3rd, the Cardinals defeat the Cubs 9-5 as both Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa homer in their last game of the season. McGuire takes Steve Trichel deep 
in the first inning and finishes with 65 home runs, with Sammy Sosa next in line with 63 homer in the third. McGuire's home runs is his 52nd, moving him past Ted Williams and Willie McCovey for 10th place all-time in the list. He finishes with 147 RBIs and 145 hits, the first Major League player ever to have more RBIs than hits, Jay Buhner. In 1995, came closest with 121 RBIs on 123 hits. On October 9th, the Houston Astros play their last game at the historic Houston Astrodome as they prepare to move to Enron Field, located in downtown Houston, for the 2000 season. On October 23rd, the New York Yankees defeat the Atlanta Braves 4-1 to win their 25th World Series, or four games to one, to win their 25th World Series. Roger Clemens gets, a, gets the win, hurling four-hit ball, before leaving the game in the eighth inning. Mariano Rivera gets the save, his second of the series. And Jim Lyritz hits a solo home run in the eighth inning to finish the New York scoring, and Riviera wins the series MVP award. November 1st, the Cubs hire Atlanta Braves coach Don Baylor as their new manager. Also on November 1st, the Indians hire hitting coach Charlie Manuel as their new manager. Then on November 17th, the Angels hire Mike Siosa as their new manager. And then on December 5th, ending the year, Major League Baseball and ESPN agreed to settle their lawsuit by signing a new six-year, $800 million deal. The suit involved ESPN's decision to give National Football League games prior priority over late-season Sunday night baseball games on its main channel. So there you have it. After a little bit of a delay in the middle, we have the 1999 Major League Baseball season in what in history what took place there. So I'm going to scoot this hobby box over. We'll have to see what time we finish this set. We might have to hold off on this till tomorrow. I didn't really want to do that, but I got to kind of keep an eye on my time. We'll see how the rest of the stream goes. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and score the top of this box here and just uh, get this opening going here so that we can rip, grip and rip into this box. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoy going through this set. I'm excited to go through this one. This box, again, has not been opened since 2000. So the break of the, the 21st century, I don't think there's, yeah, it's the normal fashion for the opening here. And we will get into these cards. And it does not look like there's very much stickage at all in here. So let me see if I can start pulling stacks of cards out of here. Oh my word, now what happened? Now my computer's being, my, my computer, my, my iMac is doing fine. I can see that's working pretty good. But now my PC is acting up. I think I just had to do, yeah, I just had to do a refresh. My word, my computers are just not being nice to me today I don't know why my computers are not being nice to me today oh that's cool Carl Everett right on top sir I don't know if you guys know who Carl Everett is there we go Tony Gwynn Kevin would like that one Tony Gwynn ha oh my word there's a Hank Aaron I knew Hammer, Hammer and Hank Aaron was in this set oh Sorry about that. And Mickey Miranda. Mickey Miranda. So, put those there a little bit. Get this moved out of the way. Get the box set up here so we can put the cards in as we go through them. And we will... Oh, wow. Is that the... I think you get one insert, I think. It says, 
one magic moments variation for each player each player and subset one magic moments player card hmm I think these are just I don't think these are yeah these aren't in any kind of order I was gonna say most of these are not in any kind of order but we will go through and see what we get here I'm looking forward to going through this site I'm back. Seems to be streaming better now. Okay, yeah, Kevin, all I did was I, I reset my router, reloaded my computers, and restarted my cell phone, and hopefully it's working now. Just in time for going through the set, but as you can see, you got one of your favorite players in line right here. Um, gotta run to FedEx. Take care. All right, Eric, thanks for being in the stream and helping support me keep me informed when I'm good and not good oh no as soon as I sent that it went black again <laughs> I don't know if it's you or me I don't know for sure um, hold on a second let me uh somehow my computer seems to be working and uh my other one here so 20th century best so I'm going to go through these and later I might find a few actual cards that might not be in the complete set. But Tony Gwynn, 20th Century Best. All right. Um, the League Leaders, Larry Walker, 1999 National League Average Leader, 379. Then we got Mark McGuire, 20th Century Best. And then a Mark McGuire... Uh, National League home run leader with 65 home runs. Frank Thomas. Oh, I see what they got here. Maybe the, well, I'll have to figure it out. I'll figure it out when I put all the court cards in order later. So, Century Best. Mark McGuire. So you get two of each, it looks like. Okay, something like that. Mark McGuire. Uh, Harold Beans, RBI leader. Um, Randy Johnson with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Kevin will like that one. Uh, Roger Clemens with strikeouts. Um, Randy Johnson again here. almost like there's double cards unless there's extras in here we'll, we'll find out when we get through this uh, John Franco ERA Luis Gonzalez 1999 uh, National League hits leader with 206 hits Juan Franco with saves um, oh, uh, Larry Walker 710 slugging percentage um, Home run after a dash. Oh, that's right. That's right. Ken Griffey Jr. Home home run after his dad. And then 1993 MVP Barry Bonds. Um, 60 home runs in 1999. Sammy Sosa. Uh, Derek Jeter. Uh, wins 1998 World Series with the Yankees and then uh, 1996 player of the year Alex Rodriguez so nice nice cards there for some of those inserts there no, I don't think they're inserts it's part of the the, the 478 card set so let's continue through here. Grab the next stack here. Just keep going through some of these cards. All right. Went blank again. That's it. From what I can tell, it seems like everything is running well on my end. So I don't know for sure on that there, Kevin. Just slight separation there so we got Carl Everett for the bot for for Boston Wade Boggs um, season highlight card 
uh, Jeff Cirillo with the Colorado Rockies, Sean Green with the Dodgers, Moises Alou with the Houston Astros, um, Oral Hirschheiser with the Dodgers, uh, Tony Gwynn season highlight card, um, Hideki Arabu with the Expos, uh, Gabe Kapler with the Rangers, uh, Rob Nen with the Giants, um, draft pick card, Brad Baker, and Mike McDougal with Boston Red Sox. Oh, wait a minute, it actually goes this way. All right, and then next one we have here is uh, Raphael Furcal with the uh, with the Braves, uh, Jason Delero with the White Sox, and Travis Dawkins with the Reds. Jeremy Burnitz with the Brewers. Then we've got uh, Tim Raines Jr. Uh, with the Orioles. Uh, Gary Matthews Jr. with the Padres. And Gary Maddox Jr. with the Diamondbacks. Octav Octavio Dotel with the Astros. Uh, draft picks. We got Corey Myers with the Diamondbacks. And Josh Hamilton with the Tampa Bay Rays. Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Draft picks. Uh, Kurt Ashworth. Ashworth with the Giants and Ty Howington with the Cincinnati Reds. All right, so I've got 13 thumbs up. That's pretty good. Five watching now, 81 minutes ago. So hopefully, I don't know if there's anybody else in the chat with me. We'll see how things go by the end. If there's not many people interacting, uh, we might forego this hobby box once again. One of these days, I'm going to get this box opened up when I get enough people in the stream. Um, Julio Zuleto with the Chicago Cubs, Darnell Stenson with the Boston Red Sox, and Jorge Toca with the New York Mets prospects cards. Then we got some draft picks again. Ben Sheets with the Milwaukee Brewers and Barry Zito with the Oakland A's draft picks. Then we've got, again, we've got uh, prospects. Doug Marabelli with the Giants, Ben Petrick with the Rockies, and Jason Wirth with the Orioles. Now we're back to draft picks again. Um, Richard Stahl with the Orioles, and Ben Christensen with the Cubs. Then we got Ellis Burks with the Giants. Uh, some more prospect card players, uh, Scott Downs with the Cubs. Chris George with the Royals and Matt Belis or Belasel with the Braves. Then draft picks again. It's uh, Vince Fison with the Padres and Rick Asdorian with the Red Sox. Back to prospects again. Wal Wilton Veras with um, Boston. Uh, Joe Creed with Chicago White Sox and Mike Lamb with the Texas Rangers. Mike Lamb. I wonder if he's uh, related to Ethan. <laughs> Here we go. A Mark McGuire highlights card. Uh, back to prospects again. Matt Riley with the Orioles. Mark Mulder with the Athletics. And CC Sabathia with the Indians. Draft picks. Jeff Niverlo with the Seattle Mariners and Keith Reed with the Baltimore Orioles. Um, Ron Bell Belliard with the Brewers. Back to uh, prospect cards again. Adam Pyatt with the Athletics. Uh, Aubrey Huff with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays and Sean Burroughs with the San Diego Padres. Then we've got uh, Quilvio Veras with the Braves and Butch Husky with the Twins. All right. Quite the different layout of this set so far, unless I just kind of got things coming out in the in a backwards type matter. I don't know for sure. We'll see if we get into more or less. I do like the way they're the the layout of this set. It like looks like a photo album type ish. Uh, and, and they are nice glossies, glossy photos. 
that's for sure you can see the, the shininess from the my ceiling light there but um pretty cool though jimmy haynes with the brewers um jamie wright with the brewers uh craig biggio hall of famer with the astros brett boone with the padres uh raul mondese with the blue jays andy ashby with the phillies mike hampton with the mets jose hernandez with the brewers um Darren Oliver with the Rangers, Todd Zeal with the Mets, Andy Baines with the Cardinals, Justin Thompson with the Rangers, Kenny Rogers with the Rangers, uh, Bill Muller with the Giants, uh, Jeff Jenkins with the Brewers, Ishmael Valdez with the Cubs, Marquis Grissom with the Brewers, Kurt Ruder with the Giants. Yeah, I see my iMac doing the same thing sometimes now, too. It's, it blanks out and then flashes back on. Uh, Sean Estes with the Giants. Um, season highlights card for Jesse Orozco with the Orioles. Shane Reynolds with the Astros. Juan Guzman with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. John Thompson with the Rockies. Mark Loretta with the Brewers. Levon Hernandez with the Giants, Vinny Castillo with the Devil Rays, uh, Todd Pratt with the Mets, Cal Ripken Jr. highlight season highlight card, um, Royce Clayton with the Rangers, Sidney Ponson with the Orioles, and Jim Lyritz with the Yankees. Just as I do each little set here, I'm gonna. Set them off to the side here and go on to our next set. I'm gonna take a little stack, smaller stack here so I can separate these and okay there we go. Just very, very slight stickage. It's not doing any damages to the cards or anything. Uh, Bill Seamus with the White Sox, Jeff Supon with the Royals, Mike uh, Timlin with the Orioles. Uh, Doug Glanville with the Phillies, Chris Singleton um, with the White Sox Gold Cup card, uh, Ron Goomer with the Twins, uh, Desi Relaford with the Phillies, uh, Trevor Hoffman Hall of Famer with the Padres, Aaron Boone with the Reds, Al Martin with the Padres, Todd Ritchie with the Pirates, uh, Michael Tucker with the Reds. Uh, Ricky Ledge with the Yankees, uh, Jose Rosada with the Royals, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. with the Cincinnati Reds, not the Seattle Mariners, uh, yep, in 2000, Griffey went to the dark side, no, I admired him for what he did, and he did come back to Seattle to retire as a Mariner. Chuck Knobloch with the Yankees. Mike Cameron with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, Darren Lewis with the Red Sox. Torrey Hunter with the Twins. Eric Owens with the Padres. Bobby Howry with the White Sox. Pedro Astacio with the Rockies. Corey Kosky with the Twins. Uh, Dimitri Young with the Reds. And Dave Mlicky with the Detroit Tigers. Last little stack here. I think this was, uh, I think Bubba Trammell was uh, related to Alan Trammell, as far as I know, Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Ruben Rivero with the Padres. Um, CJ Nikowski with the Tigers. Um, Christian Guzman with the Twins, Ruben Mateo with the Rangers, Trot Nixon with the Red Sox, uh, Marlon Anderson with the Phillies, Shane Andrews with the Cubs, Scott Brocious with the Yankees, Mike Sratka with the White Sox, uh, Rick Helling with the Rangers, Joe Randa with the Royals, 
We got Steve Parrish with the Reds, uh, Matt Clement with the Padres, uh, Jace, Jason Schmidt with the Pirates, Mike Lansing with the Rockies, Charles Johnson with the Orioles, uh, Matt Lawton with the Twins, Brett Tomko with the Seattle Mariners, uh, Ben Davis with the San Diego Padres, Gold Cup card. Carlos Lee with the White Sox and Scott Erickson with the Orioles. Alright, put these in the box for when I sort them later. Bring out the fourth stack. There's uh, not the fourth stack, the next stack here. Right, we got Tony Gwynn here. Where's Kevin? Did Kevin take off after he said, oh no, as soon as I sent that, it went black again. Let me get back into the live chat here. So the top chat, let me switch it, make sure I know where I've left off. I don't see, I haven't seen nobody actually in the last 15 minutes chatting. Chose three watching, 13 thumbs up. Appreciate that for everybody. Um, so, uh, 1984 National League Championship, Tony Gwynn. Uh, 1988 uh, batting title, Wade Boggs. 1991 MVP, Cal Ripken Jr. 1957 MVP, Hank Aaron. Uh, 1987 American League Rookie of the Year, Mark McGuire. Damian Miller with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Gary Disar Disarcina with the California Angels. Um, Jose Vis Visquino with the Dodgers. Randy Velarde with the Athletics. Kelly Stinnett with the Diamondbacks. Jamie Moyer with the Seattle Mariners. Jose Guillen with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Uh, Miguel Batista with the Expos. Kevin Apier with the A's. Uh, Mark Grunzelek with the Dodgers. Mike Remlinger with the Braves. Todd Stottlemyre with the Diamondbacks. Will Clark with the Orioles. Dustin Hermanson with the Expos. Wilson Alvarez with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Uh, Edgar Renteria with the Cardinals. Travis Fryman with the Indians. Uh, Tony Womack with the Diamondbacks. Uh, A.J. Hinch with the A's. Uh, Chris Wid Widger with the Expos. Um, Kelvin Escobar with the Blue Jays. Brad Fulmer with the Expos. Alex Gonzalez with the Miami Marlins. Gold Cup card. And Jose Cruz Jr. with the Blue Jays into the next section here before I put some more cards in the box. All right, Troy Percival with the Angels. Andy Fox with the Diamondbacks. Uh, Carlos Perez with the Dodgers. Joey Hamilton with the Blue Jays. Ken Hill with the Angels. Matt Mente with the Diamondbacks. Um, Ryan Rupi with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Uh, Kevin Tapani with the Cubs. Dave Roberts with the Indians. Uh, John Halama with the Seattle Mariners. Gold Cup card. Enrique Wilson with the Indians. Luke Ugeth Urbina with the Expos. John Rocker with the Braves. Kerry Wood with the Cubs. Chan Ho Park with the Dodgers. Tony Batista with the Blue Jays. Eric Chavez, I just seen it go blippity blip. <laughs> so I guess it's doing that. I don't know why. Eric Chavez with the A's. Uh, Devin White with the Dodgers. Uh, Richie Sexton with uh, the Indians. David Segui with the Blue Jays. Travis Lee with the Diamondbacks. Vernon Wells with the Blue Jays. Freddie Garcia with the Seattle Mariners. Jarrett Wright with the Indians. 
Eddie Perez with the Braves, Mike Stanton with the Yankees, and Andres Galarga with the Braves. All right, straighten these up, put them in the box. All right, grab the next section here. Miguel Cairo with the Devil Rays, John Lieber with the Cubs, Chris Carpenter with the Blue Jays, uh, Michael Barrett with the Expos, Darren Dreifert with the Dodgers, Matt Stairs with the A's, Billy Coke with the Blue Jays, Steve Carse with the Indians, Randy Wynn with the Devil Rays, Ray Langford with the Cardinals, Mike Piazza, Hall of Famer with the Mets, Sean Casey with the Reds, Eric Milton with the Twins, Andy Pettit with the Yankees, Mariano Rivera with the Yankees, Mike Lowell with the Marlins, Dam Damian Easley with the Tigers, Rafael Palmero with the Rangers, Andrew Jones with the Braves, uh, Rick Reed with the Mets, Jim Thome with the Indians, Ray Durham with the White Sox, Delino De Shields with the Orioles, Troy O'Leary with the Red Sox, Barry Bonds with the Giants, Bartolo Colon with the Indians, David Wells with the Blue Jays, Al Leader with the Mets, Kevin Young with the Pirates, Tony Clark with the Tigers, Greg Maddox with the Braves. And our last section for this stack. Continue on here. I think people finally gave up on me. <laughs> I'll just continue getting my content up. People like watching the replays anyway. In case you're wondering, we had some problems earlier on in, on the stream. But of course, by now, if you've been watching the video, you know what's been going on. Uh, so Tim Salmon with the Angels, uh, Bernie Williams with the Yankees, Denny Nagel with the Reds, uh, Rico Brogna with the Phillies, Carlos. Phelps with the Royals, Todd Helton with the Rockies, Nomar Garcia Pari with the Red Sox, Roberto Hernandez with the Devil Rays, um, Harold Baines Hall of Famer with the Orioles, Tim Hudson with the Athletics, Johnny Damon with the Royals, John Franco with the Mets, Cliff Floyd with the Marlins, Manny Ramirez with the Indians, Bobby Jones with the Mets, Tino Martinez with the Yankees, Rusty Greer with the Rangers, Mo Vaughn with the Angels, Albert Bell with the Orioles, Tom Glavin with the Braves, John Wetland with the Rangers, Omar Vizquel with the Indians, Orlando Hernandez with the Yankees, Darrell Hamilton with the Mets, Rondell White with the Expos, Kevin Millwood with the Braves, Scott Rowland with the Phillies, and Paul Canerco with the White Sox. Rounds off that part of the stack in the 2000 tops baseball set I think that puts us just about a little bit past the halfway mark but oh, almost missed one down there from that stack not that they're in any kind of semblance of any kind of order really but that this is a cool one on the top of this part here is a nice cool card here get this section here turn that around since they are twisty twisty that would be an awesome card if it wasn't for it needs to be part of the complete set the Hank Aaron that is so cool of course he ended his career back in 1976 that was the year our country celebrated its 200th birthday. That's when Hank Aaron ended his major league career. And this is his uh, complete major league uh, career stats on the back here from 1954 to 1976, 22 years. Awesome there with Hank Aaron. Uh, Ryan Klesko with the Braves. 
Of course, Hank Aaron was with the Braves. Jason Kendall with the Pirates. Now we got some more draft picks again. Jason Stum with the White Sox. And Rob Purvis with the White Sox. Uh, Todd Helton, season highlights. David Justice with the Indians. Armet Benitez with the Mets. Chad Ogia with the Phillies. Uh, draft pick Jason Jennings and Chance Capelli. Alex Rodriguez with the Seattle Mariners. Andy Sheets with the Angels. Uh, Adalis Perez with the Braves. Troy Glaus with the Angels. Uh, Bob Wickman with the Brewers. Terry Steinbeck with the Twins. Juan Encarnacion with the Tigers. Carlos Beltran with the Royals. Chad Allen with the Twins. Alex Gonzalez with the Blue Jays. Jorge Posada with the Yankees. Neef Perez with the Rockies. Sterling Hitchcock with the Padres. And Fernando Tatis. Daddy. <laughs> Season highlights card. No new chats. Wow. Haven't had nobody chat for about 25 minutes since Kevin did. Oh no, as soon as I sent that, it went black again. I don't know, my stream on my end seems like it's running fine, so... I might be the only one in here, besides one other person, which I doubt, but that's okay. Mike Williams with the Pirates. Uh, Bob Abreu with the Phillies. Uh, Reggie Jefferson with the uh, Red Sox. Cal Ripken Jr. with the Baltimore Orioles. Eddie Tavanese with the Reds. Uh, Jermaine Dye with the Royals. Ed Sprague with the Pirates. Uh, Mike Caruso with the White Sox. Eric Young with the Dodgers. Todd Jones with the Tigers. Scott Williamson with the Reds. Paul O'Neill with the Yankees. Bobby Higginson with the Tigers. Uh, Maglio Ordonez with the White Sox. Derek Jeter with the Yankees. Let's see, this is his fifth year card. Edgardo Alfonso with the Mets. Todd Zeal with the Rangers. Um, Dean Palmer with the Tigers. Mike Lansing with the Rockies. Joe Girardi with the Yankees. Brooke Fordyce with the White Sox. Debbie Cruz with the Tigers, Todd Walker with the Twins, Chili Davis with the Yankees, Greg Norton with the White Sox, Brad Arat Osmus with the Tigers, Brett Saberhagen with the Red Sox, and David Cohn with the Yankees. Rounds off roughly the first half, a little bit less than the first half of that stack. Put it in the box here as we continue through this set. I'm hoping there's still somebody lurking about in here with me. So I'm not totally talking to myself, but it doesn't matter. So Frank Thomas with the White Sox. Tony Glenn with the Padres. Doug Mikowitz with the Twins. Roger Clemens with the Yankees. I just seen it go bloop again. Just seen it go bloop again. Jeff Montgomery with the Royals. Barry Larkin with the Reds. Brad Rackey with the Twins. Um, Benny Abgabani with the Mets. John Snyder with the White Sox. Uh, Mark Clark with the Rangers. Mike Musina with the Orioles. Woody Williams with the Padres. Francisco Cordova with the Pirates. Mike Morgan with the Rangers. Rich Arilla with the Giants, Ron Gant with the Phillies, uh, John Vallon with the Red Sox, Aaron Seeley with the Rangers, Ivan Rodriguez with the uh, Rangers, uh, Reggie Sanders with the Padres, Pedro Martinez with the Red Sox, Kurt Schilling with the Phillies, Roberto Kelly with the Rangers, Pokey Reese with the Reds, and Pete Harnish with the Reds. Let me just check something here real quick. There, got that caught up, I think. Pretty 
make sure this one's pretty well caught up. Yeah. Okay. So go down about half of this stack so I can finish off this stack with these two more sections here. Uh, Daryl Kyle with the Rockies. Russ Ortiz with the Giants. Mike Stanley with the Red Sox. Tom Goodwin with the Rangers. Draft picks. Brett Myers at with the Phillies and uh, Ryan Christensen with the Seattle Mariners. Then we got prospect cards. Felipe Lopez with the Blue Jays. Pablo Ozuna with the Marlins and Alfonso Soriano with the Yankees. Uh, Jack Cust with the Diamondbacks. Mike Colangelo with the Angels and D. Brown with the Royals. All right, Mark Grace with the Cubs, uh, Homer Bush with the Blue Jays, uh, Luis Gonzalez with the Diamondbacks, uh, prospect cards, Eurubio Darazo with the Diamondbacks, Pat Burrell with the Phillies, and Nick Johnson with the Yankees. Draft picks, uh, Bobby Bradley with the Pirates, and Eric Munson with the Tigers. And then Mark McLemore with the Rangers. Um, prospect cards again. Matt Blank with the Expos. Kip Wells with the White Sox. And John Sneed. Rookie card with the Blue Jays. Okay. Larry Walker, Hall of Famer with the Rockies. Jose Offerman with the Red Sox. Warren Morris with the Pirates. Gold Cup card. Dante Bichette. Bobachette's dad with the Rockies. Chad Ruder with the Royals. Wally Joyner with the Padres. Brian Dobbish with the Red Sox. Gold Cup card. Lee Stevens with the Rangers. Mark Lewis with the Reds. And Mike Lieberthal with the Philadelphia Phillies. Okay, one more little section here. And we'll get into our last stack in the set. Ooh, got some shiny card on the bottom here. Uh, Mark McGuire with the Cardinals. Um, David Cohn, uh, season highlight card. Juan Gonzalez with the Rangers. Mike Bordick with the Orioles. Uh, Chris Benson with the Pirates. Uh, Mike Sweeney with the Royals. Greg Vaughn with the Reds. Steve Avery with the Reds, Paul Bird with the Phillies, Brian Giles with the Pirates. Oh yeah, we got more of these shiny cards in there. We got um, Tony Gwynn for average. We got uh, divisional playoff highlights. Kevin Millwood with the Braves. Uh, Wade Boggs with 1988 doubles. Um, divisional playoffs highlight card Todd Pratt with the Mets uh, Lance Johnson with triples uh, Orlando Hernandez with the Yankees divisional playoff highlight card 20th century best Mark McGuire for home runs divisional highlight card with Pedro Martinez for the Boston Braves Boston Braves the Boston Red Sox uh, Roger Clemens uh, for 20th Century Best, League Championship Highlight, Tom Glavin with the Braves. World Series Highlight Cards, Mariano Rivero with the Yankees. Uh, Ricky Henderson, 20th Century Best, Stolen Bases. League Championship Highlight, Bernie Williams with the Yankees. And 20th Century Best, uh, Ricky Henderson with the Runs. Now we'll get ready to go into our last stack of the box for the 2020 Major League Baseball card set. Going into the last stack of the box. Okay. So let's go ahead and See if I can go through about half of the stack and then go through the second half. Mickey Morandi with the Cubs. Uh, David Bell with the Seattle Mariners. Alex Fernandez with the Miami Marlins. Bill Wagner with the Astros. Omar Dahl with the Diamondbacks. 
Orlando Cabrera with the Expos, Dwight Gooden with the Indians, Brian Hunter with the Mariners, Bruce Avon with the uh, Marlins, Chuck Finley with the Angels, uh, Rick, Ricky Gutierrez with the Astros, uh, Dan Wilson with the Seattle Mariners, Jeff Blauser with the Cubs, Gary Sheffield with the Dodgers, Cindy Alomar with the Indians, Jose Canseco with the Devil Rays, JT Snow with the Giants, season highlights for Jose Jimenez, Luis Castillo with the Marlins, Jason Giambi with the A's, uh, Jeff Kent with the Giants, Mark Kotze with the Marlins. Marvin Bernard with the Giants. Uh, Charles Nagy with the Indians. Pat Hentgen with the Blue Jays. Kevin Brown with the Dodgers. Kent Bottenfield with the Cardinals. Jose Vidro with the Expos. Armando Rios with the Giants. Vladimir Guerrero with the Expos. That's Vladimir Guerrero Daddy. Jeff Zimmerman with the Rangers. Adrian Beltre with the Dodgers, Preston Wilson with the Marlins, Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer with the Seattle Mariners. All right, Fernando Tatis Daddy with the Cardinals, Eric Caros with the Dodgers, Russ Davis with the Seattle Mariners, Mike Jackson with the Indians, Sammy Sosa with the Cubs, Dave Martinez with the Devil Rays, uh, Jim Edmonds with the Angels. Paul Sorrento with the Devil Rays, Dave Burbo with the Indians, Ryan McGuire with the Montreal Expos. Okay, get one little part here and then we'll go through the last half of the stack here. All right, Todd Hundley with the Dodgers, Jose Valentin with the Brewers, Jose McEwing with the Cardinals, Mike Lowell with the Marlins, Brady Anderson with the Orioles, B.J. Serhoff with the Orioles, Eric Davis with the Cardinals, Jeff Conine with the Orioles, Steve Trichel with the Cubs, Eli Marina, Marrero with the Cardinals, Brent Main with the Giants, and Jay Buhner, Jay Bone with the Seattle Murders. Brings us to the last half of the stack and finish up this box here. I think everything else fit in there. I just saw the screen do another reset on both computers. I think the PC's slagging a little more behind than the uh, than the iMac. All right, uh, Carl Pavano with the Expos. Oh, hold on, they're sticking just a little bit here. Slight stickage, loosen them up. Uh, Jose Lima with the Astros. Uh, Joe Nathan with the Giants, Kenny Lofton with the Indians, uh, Prospect Card, Roosevelt Brown with the Cubs, Corey Patterson with the Cubs, and Lance Berkman with the Astros. Draft, draft picks, Kyle Snyder with the Royals, and Josh Girdley with the Expos. Uh, Jeff Shaw with the Dodgers. Draft picks, BJ Garge, rookie card for the Twins, and Larry Big V rookie card for the Orioles. All right, prospect card Kevin Barker with the Brewers, Kit Below with the Royals, and Russ Brannion with the Indians. Roberto Alomar with the Indians. Draft picks uh, Jay Gerke with the Royals, and Omar Ortiz with the Padres. And Jay Bell with the Diamondbacks. Another prospect. Rookie card combination set. Josh Kolo Kalinowski with the uh, Rockies. Miguel Tejera with the Marlins. And Chris Mears with the Seattle Mariners. Draft picks Mike Paradis with the Orioles. And David Walling with the Yankees. 
right? Ray Ordonez with the Mets. Uh, Ken Caminetti with the Astros. Carlos Delgado with the Blue Jays. John Flattery with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Garrett Anderson with the Angels. And Ricky Henderson with the Mets. Right. Two little sections to go here. Hideo Nomo with the Brewers. Tony Fernandez with the Blue Jays. Robin Ventura with the Mets. Henry Rodriguez with the Cubs. Roger Cedeno with the Mets. Dave Nelson with the Brewers. Tim Raines with the Athletics. Shannon Stewart with the Blue Jays. Brian Jordan with the Braves. Darren Fletcher with the Blue Jays. Wade Boggs with the Tampa Bay Rays. Matt Williams with the Diamondbacks. Chris Singleton season highlight card. And Roy Halladay with the Blue Jays. Last little stack in the set and then we'll get ready to end the stream oh we got 14 thumbs up moving up the channel here um javi lopez with the with the braves john jaha with the athletics fred mcgriff with the tampa bay devil rays jeff bagwell with the astros hall of famer randy johnson with the diamondbacks hall of famer john schmoltz with the braves hall of famer todd green with the angels Bernard Gilkey with the Diamondbacks, Darren Erstad with the Angels, Bill Spears with the Astros, Fernando Vina uh, with the Brewers, Chipper Jones, Hall of Famer with the Atlanta Rays, Matt Walbeck with the Angels, Derek Bell with the Astros, Steve Finley with the Diamondbacks, Lance Johnson with the Cubs, Ben Grieve with the Athletics, John Olrood with the New York Mets, Richard Hildago with the Astros, and last but not least, Miguel Tejada with the Oakland Athletics. So there you have it. Let me get this all put back in the box. Signed, sealed, and delivered in the box. The box is full. The box is complete. The only thing I have left to do is put all the cards in sequential sequence and then it will be in my filing system with all my complete sets. So there you have it. The 2000 Tops Major League Baseball cards. 2000 complete set includes Series 1 and Series 2. For the set. Sorry, sad to say, we only got two viewers here. I could open up a hanger box, but in light of what took place earlier and stuff, um, I would have normally already been in busting open the product because of some of the glitches we had earlier on in the stream. That's why things ended up the way they did. Um, I don't believe there's anybody in here watching with me, so I'm just getting the content recorded up. And as in usual fashion, I will turn the camera around, say my signature goodbye, and we will be back tomorrow for our baseball team history lesson. Okay, so let me get ready to turn the camera around here. Say my signature goodbye to you guys. And uh, do want to uh, just share that I did meet up with my first channel member yesterday. Uh, it was a local person from the same town that I'm in, Arlington, Washington. And uh, it was just, uh, Dan S. was just an awesome person. Uh, got to know him, spoke with him, gave him his mystery pack that he bought on uh, Saturday from my channel. And it was nice. My first time I was able to hand deliver some product uh, to somebody. So that was kind of fun and neat in, in the same manner. Um, Dan, if you watched the replay, just wanted to give you a shout out. Thank you for uh, being part of the community here. And uh, I know he's only done one video on his channel. Um, I am going to update my channel favorites. You'll see that uh, if you go to my channel homepage. I do have a list of favorites on my channel. So um, I will be taking somebody off that maybe hasn't been to the stream in a long time and put his link there on the side of my channel um, so that will be taking place but until tomorrow 
I'm just going to go ahead and say my signature goodbye. This has been Donald Blomdahl, Hall of Fame Veterans, Sports Cards, and Collectibles, having been live to you from Arlington, Washington, with another episode in our baseball card sets going through the 2000 top set. So, um, show you my t shirt. I wore this shirt when, with a different baseball cap yesterday. And just in case you're wondering, this is the, the Seattle Mariners uh, Washington State logo. Okay, so other than that, I'm going to go ahead and give my sign off. We will see you guys tomorrow for our baseball team history. Haven't decided. I got a few more teams left to finish off that series. And then we'll come up with something else new. Okay, so take off, take care, and you guys, we will see you guys around the channels. Okay, bye for now. Lord bless you.